Okay, so my battery was dying on my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Nothing was on, and a lot of signs pointed to the auxiliary battery that sits down here. So, I want to show you real quick, if you don't want to keep this in here and you don't run the auto stop start feature like I do, I have mine turned off with a taser, here's what you can do. So, this is your ground, and this is the positive that comes off of it. And so, I'm going to go ahead and put this panel back, and I'm going to show you what I did. And my solution is this. Well, first off, I got a larger AGM battery from AutoZone. Uh, it bolts in no problem. It just takes up more width up here. And I just ran the power cord to uh, this post on the battery and I taped up the original ground and it's kind of stuffed back there. It's hard to see. And that's it. Everything's put back together. Fuse box is no problem. Not a, any other modification. Now I run a taser on this thing. So that means I've always got my ESC set to basically not turn on for the auto stop start. So shouldn't have any problems. And if you're looking to do the same thing, this will uh, make it where you don't have to run a small battery and you can run this big battery group right here. That is, sorry, it's upside down. Uh, the group that I'm using, it's their H7. That's really what you need to know. And it's AGM. So, all right, hopefully uh, this is helpful for anybody else having a problem. One thing to note, if you have a 2021 and newer, uh, I've been told that you do have to connect the original ground uh, to uh, your battery post uh, or you will get an error. So uh, this Jeep, as I'll show you in a second, has no errors or error codes. And as you can see, no error lights, no auto stop start message. Charging at 14.3. Like I say, I keep mine to default with the taser, so uh, works just fine. Single battery. Hopefully this is helpful.